All right, so started you guys with the function uh, f of x is the square root of x. Um, Allie, go ahead and highlight those first three points we started with. The first three. Um, 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2. So how'd you select those three points? Because they were right on the line. I don't know. On which line? The, the f of x equals the square root of x. Okay. So she found three points on the curve. Um, the first thing that Allie had on her paper was she took each of those points through those five transformations in that order. So Allie, show us what that work looked like and, and kind of talk us through, tell us what you're doing. It's like doing weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, um, so you have to add seven to all the points, and um, so I just went zero, seven, one, eight, four, and nine. And I noticed you said add seven to all the points, but on the y side. On the y side, okay. And then um, I rewrote the function thing. So I did the square root of x and then added 7. Okay. And then I did reflect over the x-axis. And so then um, I made everything, all the y's negative of the points. Did and then I put a negative in front of the square root x plus seven. No, oh, so why'd you why'd you have to put the parentheses there? So that it <coughs> apply to everything in the, it apply to the seven and the square root x. Good. Okay. And then I slid right three. And so I added three to all the x's. And then I changed the equation, so I had to change the uh, the x. I want to highlight that x on the right here. Yeah. And then I did x subtract three in parentheses. Mm. And plus seven. And then. Allie and I talk. Anytime you're replacing x with something, whatever you replace it with, do me a favor and put it in parentheses. It wouldn't have made a huge. It wouldn't have made an impact right here, but there are spots where it where it will make an impact. So anytime you're going to erase x and put something else in there, wherever x was, put a set of parentheses, and then whatever you replace it with, just write that in there. Because sometimes you'll be sitting with a minus x, and you want to replace x with something. Well, you need to still capture that minus that came before the x. So you'll have your minus, and then parentheses, whatever x was replaced with. OK, and then I reflected over the y-axis and made all the x values negative. And then I changed the equation to this, and the x has to be negative now, so 
There has to be two parentheses and negative three and plus seven and then slid down six um would be And then uh, the final answer was negative, and then the parentheses, and negative x, subtract 3, parentheses, plus 7, and then subtract 6. That's the answer. Awesome. Now we're going to, I'll pull up the graphing calculator real quick on here, and then I'm we can done. check. You're done. You're good. Awesome. <laughs> we can check. So we'll pull up the graphing calculator on here, and let's, we want to make sure that what, what three points, what three points do we want to have on our final graph? Okay, so after we graph this one in green, we're going to check, look at the table, and make sure that those blue points are, in fact, on the curve. So i got to find this graph for program. Or we can do TI. Okay. All right, new equation. Now we're going to have to remember what that equation was. So we'll jump back a screen. Can somebody, can somebody write that down? I guess, Ali, you have it written down. So when I go to this screen, you're going to have to tell me what that was. Remember where all the, you got all the parentheses there. Okay, so what do we got? didn't like our syntax. That's okay. Don't panic. This sign, like, I tried to do the square root and it threw this in as well, so I don't know what that was about. Let's try this. Fingers crossed. You still don't like it. Could not evaluate. Am I miss? Do I have an extra one there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we'll go to the table. We can't see it right now. It's obviously off our, our, our window. So if we go table, or we could have done trace. Let's try trace. Okay, so let's go with, I will go over here. So what were those three points? Anybody remember? Let me go back. Okay. Negative three, negative thirteen was the first. Okay, good. We got that one. What was the other? Okay, we got that one. And the last one? Negative seven, negative fifteen. So we've got them. Okay, so we checked our answer. So nicely done. I know that can be a lengthy process, but really good job.